in the dry, as it's proving today in the wet. The driver changeovers, the lead car in GT1. Jean-Philippe Desraux out, Yvonne Lebon in behind the wheel. Well, I went straight on at the end of the straight. It's not easy in the rain because when you're first through, you have to find the new trajectories. I managed to find the way through at the start. Sahel was right behind me. He waited for my mistake. I made one and he got through. Then he started sliding around and I was right behind him. At the first Copen bend, he went for the outside. I went inside. He came back on top of me. I headed into the dirt to try and avoid contact, but there was a touch all the same and he headed off backwards into the gravel. We barely touched, but the car's sliding around incredibly. It wasn't my fault. That's just what happened. Then I saw he went off two or three times, so he clearly had a problem. Are you confident for the second half of the race? Well, not for the moment, but I hope Yvonne will do a good job. He has the ability. If he can hold on, we might just get there. And the driver changeovers in GT3 as well. Fabien Rosier and Bruce Logier Roux are amongst the last to head into the pits. Frank Morel hopping in the wheel of the number 74 machine. Great job from Fabien Rosier. Yvan Lebon is out there now and leading the way in the GT1s. We saw the two Team Tares machines out there lapping together. Nothing really going right for the Hexus Racing Team, running in 7th and 9th. The cars are well off the pace. Well, with the Pro Drive team, says Clément Matou from the Hexus team, we worked really hard on the car over the winter. The GT3 class is about limiting the development of these cars. Our car is competitive on the European scene, and that's certainly our priority. We're not going to turn our heads inside out to keep working on the car. We'll more likely consider our future engagement in the French series. Well, the bottom line is, for the Aston Martins, they really struggle with their setup and suspensions. And that all ends up working very hard on the tyres. It's like an ice skating rink for the Astons. And so victory went the way of Jean-Philippe Desraux and Yvon Le Bon bringing the car home. And Frank Morel bringing it home in the Viper for a big surprise in GT3. Ahead of the Ferrari number 69, the miracle car from this weekend at Nogaro.